Yo, what is up, you guys? It is me. So I've been having a problem with this bike for a little while, and um, <clears throat> I couldn't figure out what the problem was. For the longest time, I thought it was the starter motor. So, okay. I have my battery, which is a brand new battery. Uh, I bought it the other day, and it's fully charged. The relay. It's looking a little rough. It's looking a little old. But this is the sound I get whenever I try to start it. I'm going to put the camera up close to it and the microphone up close so you can hear it. So that's the sound I would get every time I try to start it up. Now, that tells me a few things. The relay is engaging and the, um, the magnet inside is working, so it's, it's connecting to the other side. However, it's not going to the starter motor. Now, whenever I try to bridge the two, let's do that now, let me show you. Whenever I try to bridge the two, my clutch is in. What's up? So it tells me two things. <clears throat> the starter motor itself is fine because it will turn over. However, it also tells me that the relay, some for some reason, you, you can hear the click but it doesn't engage, it doesn't close the circuit completely. So what I'm thinking is that the relay underneath the terminals is probably corrosion. Um, I mean, the bike has 13,000 miles, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do is switch that out. And I did do a voltmeter check between here, which is here, this is one, and here, works just fine. I'm reading 12.5, over 12.5. I check it from here to here. Same thing, 12.5. And then I check it from here to here, nothing, which that's supposed to ha that's how it's supposed to be. Now, when I connect these two together and I try to start the bike, I get zero, which means these two aren't connecting when I'm hitting the start switch, start switch on the bike down here. So that tells me that the relay is bad. So I have my new relay right here. I'm gonna put it in, and then we're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna take off the battery. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> let's, be, let's be safe about this. And disconnect the terminals to the battery. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the, I'm gonna leave it here, but I'm gonna cover this up with the old sham, old sham wow. <clears throat> Man, it's hot. Okay, so there's no power going to that whatsoever. Now I'm gonna take off these terminals. All right, so after many, many moons of fighting this thing, finally got it off. Here is the old one, still attached, but I finally broke that loose. Uh, I'm gonna attach the this little cover back on. Like that. Yep. Okay, so still no power to the battery. And then I'm gonna take this screw off. Man, it took me forever, but I finally got it loose with some wrenches. But uh here's the old one, here's the new one. Should be good. Fingers are crossed. This is the problem, which I'm 90% sure it is. So okay, first thing we're gonna do. Put the, I'm gonna put the ground back on. So we're gonna go in order of how I took it off. This is gonna go back on here. Next thing I did was put the power line back on. Then I'm gonna connect this back to here. Nice and easy. 
this as a little guy that sticks to there. Let's click back in. This goes over it and done. Hopefully, this is it. Now, I'm going to put this terminal back on. go negative back on so in theory this should have fixed everything and all right moment of truth guys we're gonna do this together Will it start? What do you guys think? I think it will. Let's give it a try. Okay. There we have it, guys. Fixed her. Up and running. 